Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. Last week I posted a YouTube short helping you fix your incorrect totals in Power BI. So a user commented asking why do we have incorrect totals in the first place. So I thought I'll make a detailed video explaining why do we have incorrect totals in Power BI and how do we fix them. So let's get started with this tutorial. I have a table visual here which has category and count measure that I have added. The count measure here is basically calculate distinct count of the orders ID. I'm counting the number of distinct orders ID that I have in my data set. And I have the category field here. My total here is 8556. Now is that Correct? Let's find out. I'm going to copy this data to an Excel sheet so that it's easier for me to help you understand. I've now copied the data here. The total here is 8720 and not 8556 that we saw in Power BI. Now, why do we have 8556 in Power BI? Where does this number come from? Now, let me quickly go to the order ID column. I'm going to copy the order ID here and paste this into a new column. And then let's head over to the data tab and remove duplicates. Click on OK. And now you will see that I have 8,556 order IDs. And that's exactly what is being displayed here, 8,556. Now, the 8,556 is the distinct number of order IDs that I have in my data set. But Power BI here on my table visual is not considering the filter context that I have applied to my table visual, which is the category in this case. Now I've quickly added a pivot table here. I have added the category and order ID and you will see that my total number of order IDs here are 8720. And if I remove the category, my total number of order IDs will be 8556, which means that I have duplicates in my order ID. Let's quickly identify them. If I do a conditional formatting on them, you will see that I have duplicate IDs, one appearing under bakery and other appearing under beverages. Now, since Power BI is ignoring the filter context that is applied to our table visual, how do we fix this? Let's quickly add a new measure. Let's call this as fixed count is equals to, first of all, let's do the calculate count, calculate distinct count of the order ID. I'm going to close the bracket and confirm. Let me bring in the fixed count now to our table visual and you'll see that the values are same. The totals are same. There's nothing that has changed. Now what we will do is we will add the sumx function to this measure and then pass in the values function to identify the unique categories that I have added into my table. If you have added some other column, you can pass in that column here. But in my case, I have passed in the uh, or I have the category column in my visual here. I'm going to pass in the category column here for close the bracket followed by the comma. The expression here is going to be my calculate function. So I'm going to bring that up here and then I'm going to close the bracket and confirm. And now you will see that our totals here is displaying correctly, which is 8720. So what this sumx function is doing here is basically it's iterating over every single row and then calculating the total sum for us. Now let's take a look at another example. I'm going to bring in the category column again and then bring in the max sales that I have created. It's a simple measure to calculate the max of the sales amount from my sales table. Let's change this into a table again. And you will see that my max sales value here is being displayed for every single category. And my total also says 2,500, which is the max value of one of the categories. I'm back in Excel now. Let's quickly add a pivot table. I'm going to add the category here. Now let's bring in the sales amount into the value section. Let's click on this and go to value field settings and choose maximum and then click on OK. And now you will see that we have the maximum value for each of these categories and the grand total here also says 2500, whereas the total here should have been 17,493. Now, what exactly is this max value? Let's go back to our sheet one and I've now filtered for category beverages and let's sort this by descending here and you will see that the maximum value here is 2500. Let's quickly chase this to 6500 here. Let's go back to our pivot table, right click and select refresh. And now you will see that the beverages is 6,500 and accordingly, the grand total also has changed to 6,500. And what this is doing is it is basically ignoring the filter context that we have applied to our pivot table here or the 
table in Power BI and it is just identifying the maximum value of the sales. It is just displaying the maximum value that we have in all of these values but it's not iterating over every single row and then calculating the sum for the grand total. And now you see that in Power BI as well, we have the total here as 6,500, the max sales for beverages is 6,500. Now let us see how we can fix that. And I'm gonna go here, copy this measure that I created. Let's create a new measure, call this as fixed max sales. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the sumx function so that it iterates over every single row and then calculates the sum for us. And then use the values function pass in the category field that I have used in my table, close the bracket here, followed by the comma. The expression here is going to be calculate max of order sales. I'm going to close the bracket and confirm. Now, if I bring in the fixed max sales into my table here, you will see that the same values here are being displayed on the rows, but the totals here differ. And we have the right total being displayed against fixed max sales measure. So now I guess you have a clear understanding as to why the totals are incorrect in Power BI and how do you fix them. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.